Hi guys, it's Colette. Welcome back to my channel. And this is the weekly tarot card for the week commencing Monday the 9th of August 2021. And it's the little rogue deck. So let's see what we've got for the week ahead globally and more generally um, to do with our careers and loves and health etc. Remember some people will find the influence of um, the energies are quite intense, others it will be just slightly background, so you don't know how intense they're going to be for you, good or bad, but um, keep the energy and the ideas as the backdrop that help you move forward for your week ahead, okay? So, let's see, Monday the 9th of August, oh goodness, eight months already, right, and the card is... Mm. I think he looks like a kind of old-fashioned, almost movie star in the Rorig deck, doesn't he? Quite an intense look. The lips and the mouth set, the chin set. So, the Emperor. Mmm. Now, we had the Justice card last week, and um, that was a Major Arcana card, and this is another Major Arcana card, card four. Um, the fours represent stability, structure, um, all the things that lead to grounding, and it represents establishments, it represents um, power, and even law but law of the the probably the whoever's the ruler rather than rule of the land um so globally this can be a problematic card um if there's slightly negative energies behind it because the emperor is all about um making your power felt and seen now you can imagine on a global sort of seen that can be good when it's necessary but can also lead to just countries posturing against one another and you know oh you know we've got the biggest weapons no we've got the biggest weapons no I've got the biggest empire no you've got the biggest empire um it's it's one of those cards that some people will tune into the positive facts parts of it some the negative depending even as far as upbringing are concerned you know it can represent the father stability um that sense of um solid um kind of masculine fatherly love um you know maybe the gender fluid aspect is the the sort of cis male um and in, in some ways that can be very comforting but other people that maybe have not had great connections with their fathers with um with the energy of um even patriarchy um can s see this card as particularly negative so somehow you know this card to me is one of the ones that gets muddled up um in my thinking, my own personal interpretation, because the fatherly role, um, to me, I, I had a very wonderful father, I had a very, um, a quite a strict father, but um, a logical one, um, one with a sense of humour, uh, and one who knew that, kind of, he was the head of the family as such, although we really knew who wore the trousers in the house and I would say it was my mum. Um, so what I'm trying to go over is the Emperor card um, has always in my um, experience of reading the tarot is one of those cards that's very caught up in the perception of the reader and um, the interpreter. So trying to take that out of it globally what we have is a sense of um security and stability coming through um the the will 
of the people and the emperor or the empire. I don't know if I'm making this sound the way I want to, but from a good point of view, the emperor card can bring lots of stability because he basically is saying, you know, we're strong, we don't need to fight you, you know, we, we know that we're strong um, and we can just let our influence filter out that sense of I am, um, that influence of strength and um, stability. That can be a, have a very good impact on economies, on the sense of world stability and um, it's actually a very good thing also for um, stock markets when they see a stability coming through. Negatively, if there's chaotic energies, it can lead to a lot of posturing between countries and um, the sort of, when, a, when assertiveness becomes aggression and we don't want that. So, an interesting card for the week ahead following on, as I say, from the Justice card. So, um, personally, this card can be very good for us, but sometimes, again, depending on your personality, can allow you to feel a wee bit trapped within the, the structures of your life. I find, again, that um, very, very positive card when we're coming out of chaos because it settles everything down. Um, not a, such a great card if you're a free spirit and don't like to be kind of bound by rules and regulations. Um, so, <laughs> but in work, it, it brings the focus on um, kind of government officials, councils, states, and um, brings a, a kind of personal power and stability to those sort of jobs. Um, so um, people that are working, you know, kind of to do with governments, to do with even uh, government agencies such as tax, etc., are all under the influence of this card. And in a good way, it's kind of their time to maybe um, thrive a bit. Um, if you're in a job that maybe in general hasn't been hasn't felt supportive or hasn't felt um, strong or stable, the emperor will bring good influences into the workplace and allow you to maybe breathe a sigh of relief. It also can be that you know an organisation gets a new um, CEO or a new um, head of organisation that is you know kind of um, solid, respected, um, even presidential. That sense of someone that you just know is going to bring a stability to what um, everybody beneath that role. Um, again, if you're a kind of free spirit and you like lots, lots of flexibility in your work, you won't like this influence. Um, but sometimes, you know, um, creative folk in particular, in particular rather, um, they need deadlines. And although their creativity is sparking, it's no good unless there's some sort of structure, an end date and, um, you know, a plan. And the Emperor can bring that. And I'm looking forward to that because I've got lots of um, things on the go at the moment. <laughs> um, from books, projects to spiritual projects. And um, I'm, I'm aiming on this week ahead to kind of bring them under a framework. A framework that works for them and works for me. In, a, in effect, I will be the Emperor of my own workplace as such. And looking at it that way, um, it, it can be a very beneficial card. Um, Health-wise, it can bring quite a good solid time. Um, a time where you feel as though you're getting body under control, that there's not so much chaos in the body or mind and that things are moving along. And even if they're not making great progress, they're kind of on a plateau that is non-chaotic. And that that affects all the organs and the sort of systems in the body. So it's quite a good card um, for just general health. 
it can also um, in males bring out an understanding of the aging pattern that you know they may be reaching a stage where they have to relax into getting that wee bit older and take it on with dignity and respect for their bodies um, so it can be in a good way you can see sort of men maybe in their 50s and 60s becoming quite quite contained in their wisdom in their energy and <laughs> for other people it becomes like a midlife crisis <laughs> so let's hope you've got um you know someone in your life that can accept the aging process and, and not want to be a lad again okay um if we're looking at relationships it just brings stability it brings a sense of um breathing space to expand the the relationship in a more practical way that can be you know thinking about how your empire as the relationship grows do you want another family member would you like to extend the house um it's it's all these things that bring a practical grounding to relationships those decisions can be taken very well in the week ahead um and if you're looking for love you might find that um there's an age gap relationship there for you which would be quite interesting um if we look at wealth um it's very stable it's very structured it allows you to do many practical things and see the long-term benefit of them it's it's not like just doing something for the spur of the moment or for a quick buck the emperor's all about that sense of longevity and stability over a long period of time it's like buying a house um and knowing that it will go up down up down but if you're living it living it for 40 years you're still going to benefit from that investment um so it's, it's a pretty good card financially individually and also in general markets across the world world excuse me um spiritually um possibly not the best card if you don't like standards structures or dogmas or patterns that must be followed um it's not a religious card as such but it's any any way any spiritual way any religious way that has um sort of rules and regulations and maybe a figurehead um this one can be very good for people that are needing a strength and a structure spiritually um so that can be very good but if you're more i would say maybe nature based or um see yourself as as um having a path rather than a religion or whatever this card can, can sometimes make you feel quite pinned down um and the answer to that i always go to the opposite of the card if i'm feeling the emperor kind of the heaviness of that i'll always go to the empress and go to mother nature to balance out the the aspect of um you know sometimes patriarchal beliefs um and take it from there so a very interesting card this week let me know how it affects you um and let me know what you think may come from the emperor in the week ahead um if you would like to add on we all love a conversation and we all love to learn from the cards that's the thing this is a little community and this is my interpretation of this card in Rorig deck um, and another person reading it may have a different deck may have a different um may intuit it differently uh, so let's join in and um i hope you have a good solid emperor week ahead many blessings now